What's up gamers, how the heck are you? Hogwarts Legacy is right around the corner and I bet everybody is excited to play. But you gotta be asking yourself a few questions. What house do I choose? Does it even matter what house I choose? What wand? Can I create my own wand? And how does any of that even work? Well, glad you clicked the video because I'm gonna go over it real quick for you and just explain some of the basics of choosing a house and picking your wand and does it really matter? So as you probably expected, in Hogwarts Legacy, you will have the choice to choose one of the four houses in Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry that you would like to attend. It is not a sorting hat kind of ceremony. It does not choose for you based on your personality. It doesn't do a questionnaire that allows you to choose based on your personality. It is just a choice you make by selecting it. Each house comes with its own array of students and professors that will be that you will have access to that will give you different side quests depending on the house that you are in. Each house has its own personalized dormitory that you will have access to with a secret entrance that only you will know if you are a part of that house. Otherwise, you cannot enter that house. Now, being that the game does have over 100 hours worth of side quests, each house does have its own sort of uh, side quest available. There are plenty of side quests outside of the houses, but some side quests are tailored to certain houses. We do know that Gryffindor has the most side quest available, with Ravenclaw having the least side quest available. Not really sure why Ravenclaw didn't receive the love, but it didn't. But none of these side quests will change the overarching story at all whatsoever, so you will have the same story progression as everybody else does, to no matter the house you are choosing. Now, just like houses, wands are the same thing. There will come a point in time where you will select your wand, you will get to create it, as you see fit making every piece of it as you see fit it does not change the overarching story does not change whatsoever what happens does not affect what spells you can use it is strictly appearance only but there will come a point in time where you cannot change your wand anymore you will be locked in to that wand so if you aren't satisfied with how your wand looks make that choice prior to locking it in in the game there will be a ceremony of sorts that will allow you to lock it in so just keep that in mind as you're playing through the game. It doesn't matter. Now, in my opinion, if you want to have the best overarching experience and have a more immersive style experience, and this is strictly opinion only, it does not does not have any weight past that. If that's not something that you guys are interested in, I completely understand. Click away now. This is opinion only. But if you want to have the most immersive experience that you possibly can, go to wizardingworld.com and take sign up. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, just, just an email. Take the quizzes, it has you set up a character, it has you take quizzes for your house, for your Patronus charm, and for your wand, that it will choose all of that stuff for you based on personality, based on your traits. It's not a very in-depth personality test, it's just a very simple one, but it does kind of guide you in the right direction depending on the choices that you make. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't have to abide by the wizardingworld.com's breakdown of you this is just for fun it kind of gives you a more immersive choice because it does choose based on more personality traits versus you just choosing yourself i've taken it and it was actually kind of fun it lets you answer a bunch of questions getting you to a point where it felt like you were actually chosen to be in the house which was kind of cool felt like you earned this patronus charm which was also kind of cool and you got a cool little wand at the end of it if you want a more immersive style Go to those websites, log in, make an account, do all the wonderful stuff prior to the game coming out, and you will be able to transport that information into the game once it fully unleashes so that all the information is in there and that everything will be pre-selected for you, including your wand and your house. That way you know that you've selected the correct house that fits your personality best and not something that you just wanted to play because you clicked it. This is strictly opinion. All I'm saying is that if you want a more immersive style feeling where it's not just you simply selecting a house to be a part of because you think the name sounds cool or something like that, this is the way to do it because you can do a slight personality test. It took a, maybe a few minutes to do all three things. It did not take long at all. You didn't sit there forever. It took a couple seconds to sign up and you don't even have to use your real name. You can do a fake, or not a fake email, but you can do a, you know, an, an email that you can have access to because you do have to pair it with uh, Hogwarts Legacy when that time comes. But you just, you know, do a real email, but it can be like a junk email. <laughs> it's just that, you know, if you don't want, if you don't want all that stuff tied to like a, a an email you use for business purposes or something like that. But once again, this is strictly up to you. 
you don't have to do this if you don't want to. All right, guys, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys gained a little bit of information out of this and a little bit of like, uh, okay, so I don't really have to worry that much about houses or wands or choosing that stuff. The game won't change that much. Biggest things to take away from this is that there will be some side quests that you won't have available to you that some people may have available to you because they chose Ravenclaw over you. You chose Slytherin, which obviously is the best house anyway. I don't know why anybody plays anything other than Slytherin. Sly Slytherin team, unite. If you are a Slytherin, hit that like button. All right. If you are every other house, hit that like button also because that helps a lot. Please, please hit that like button and the subscribe one. I, li I like that one too. I like the, I like both the like button and the subscribe button. Just try them out. Just click them just once though. Like don't, cause if you click subscribe twice, you unsubscribe. So click subscribe again. All right guys. So if you want everything that I can give you on Hogwarts legacy, I'll be playing through it. I'll be checking it out. I'll be giving all the information I can, all the tips, tricks, fun things hit that subscribe button this channel is a fan of open world style games and i am a fan of hogwarts and all harry potter stuff so super fan of that got a wand up there so i don't know why i pointed like you guys can't see up there anyway guys thank you so much for watching and as always i'll catch you in the next one peace out